here at the Biostock Investor Meeting in Stockholm, and I'm joined by the CEO of RCD Pharma, Mia Lundblad. Welcome, Mia. Thank you. Uh, could you start by telling us what is RCD Pharma? It is a spin-out, actually, company from Respiratorius. Mm -hmm. And Respiratorius has been a long, uh, around for a long time, but we had two different projects at different stages and development phases and within oncology and respiratory diseases. So late, yeah, this spring, uh, and it, it, it was decided before that, but this spring actually uh, the decision uh, took place and occurred that we would spin out the respiratory disease area and make a separate company of that. Okay. And that is the, so it's a new company, but based on an old, <laughs> still an old. Uh, research so yeah yeah and uh, with uh, your com compound rcd405 you're targeting targeting copd yes. and also severe asthma um how are these diseases treated today uh, today i mean there are guidelines and recommendations for how and when you initiate different treatments and it's a progressive disease so you start out first of all with non-pharmacological treatments uh, that is First of all, smoking cessation actually is an important step. But then you start out with bronchodilators and they are based on beta agonist receptors and they target those receptors and then would dilate the bron uh, bronchius. Um, and also there are muscarinic antagonists and you either give them alone the beta agonists or the muscarinic antagonists or in combination. And once the disease progress is really in late stage, you also add on inhaled corticosteroids. Mm -hmm. So that's the main yeah, mechanisms of actions and the main treatments. And then there are d combinations of those as well, the single uh, compound uh, drugs for that. Sure. Um, so what distinguishes our, our CD405 uh, from <clears throat> the drugs that are already on the market today? Yeah, we are not targeting any of those receptors, so not the beta. Uh, receptor and, and not the muscarinic receptor mm. but we actually what so we have a, another mechanism of action that we haven't disclosed yet but it's it works with, uh, to be a bronchodilators and okay. we have shown that in several or in ex vivo studies using tissue lung tissue airway tissue from both human and dogs and rats mm -hmm. uh, and, and it, in addition then we also have this anti-inflammatory properties that is also really important because the inflammatory part of COPD is a major part of the disease. So we are targeting actually several different pathways and processes in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, so we have this combined or pleiotropic effect, you can say, in one compound. Mm -hmm. And so where are you now in the development process with RCD405? So we are, uh, right now we are doing our toxicological studies, so that's the studies that are required by regulatory authorities to be performed before you go into the clinical phase. And it needs to be performed in two different species, uh, so we are using rats and dogs. We have more or less completed the rat and are now ongoing with the dog studies. But they take a long time, they sure. need to be continuous dosing for a long time and then evaluation and interpretation of the data. Finally, what are the most important things that RCD hopes to achieve next year? That is that we by then have concluded these toxicology studies and that we have progressed so that we can start and have submitted and planned for the clinical trials. Mm. And with the submissions and all these packages that are needed to be submitted before we get an approval to start the clinical phase. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us and uh, we look forward to following RCD. Thank you very much.